What is up guys? Day seven. I'm back from my morning jog. Oh, did I say day seven? No, I meant day eight. Oh yeah. It's just a static My subwoofer's coming today, and the RCA cables that I ordered for the subwoofers are coming today. What perfect timing. Um, well, what I have to do right now is definitely I have to hop in the shower. Um, then, grab something to eat, something around here, head over to the house, pick up my packages, hook up the subwoofer. I'm sorry for breathing hard. <laughs> I'm a little tired, you know what I'm saying. So, all right guys. Here we go. What is up guys? So yes, I'm on my way to the house. Actually, I, I took my sweet old time. Uh, just because I got contacted yesterday from Poke or day before yesterday about that uh, that price drop thing and they just said I'm shit out of luck. Pretty much, like. So Poke's customer service sucks, but, um, which puts a really sour taste in my mouth and I, I don't, really care about their product anymore I mean I the only reason why I'm gonna use this one is because I already bought it but I, I mean I don't think that's right you know literally within a few hours if the price drops you should just give me the price drop price you know it's not like I can return it and then buy it again right and I can get the $10 discount but see poke smarter than that they like ripping people off so what they do is they go well there's a 15% restocking fee even if it's not open you know yeah so even if the box is not even open, even if they didn't touch it. And here's the thing, I asked, like because it's a few hours after I bought it, they didn't ship it yet. They didn't ship it until like three, four days later. So, you know, this is even before shipping. Like as soon as I bought it, a few hours later, I contacted them like, boom, look, the price dropped to $89.99 plus tax. I paid $99.99 plus tax like a couple hours ago few hours ago uh, can you give me the 89.99 price and they said I'm shit out of luck like this it's not about the money it's not it's, it's the customer service and it's the way I feel they could have worded it better as well and kind of still made me feel a little bit better but they didn't they just didn't give a two cents worth of butt crack now the few customer service companies that I've been dealing with this week was Moshi. Moshi because my, my eye glaze started to crack again like the second time it happened. And I wasn't really expecting much, I didn't really care because I don't use my MacBook Pro. It just sits there, it just sits, it doesn't move. So, I just, I mean I emailed them saying look this, this case is cracking again and I'm pretty sure other customers are having the same issue. And they're like, oh yeah, just write your name on it with permanent marker and the date, and then we'll send you a new one. I'm like, holy crud. So now that's good customer service. That and focus right. So you guys saw what happened to my focus right. Right now everything's working fine. Um, but I kind of feel iffy about it. And when I put the volume all the way down, I guess you can still hear a little bit, but that, that's pretty much always been there, I guess. I don't know, but I wanted them to check it out. And man, focus right customer service on par, dude. What, what, what they did was, boom, like they told me straight up, like, yeah, you're gonna have to pay for the shipping on the way out because it's been past 30 days, right? Because I bought it December. So it's, it's what, been like seven months? And, but then they're gonna take care of all parts and labor, all parts, all repair costs, and shipping back, right? And then they, they, they go, I hope you understand, you know, like all this. I'm like, yeah, I totally understand, shoot. See, that's the kind of customer service that I, I'm, I'm talking about. It all came, uh, so yes. Um, the mail, the mail wasn't here by the time I got here. Just the FedEx package was. But by the time I went in, I, I talked with moms for a little bit. Uh, the mailman came. Actually, I caught him on the way out, and um, yeah, it's cool. I had a, I had a 12 pack of, of soda. And I was like, shoot, why not? And I offered him one. He, he took it. Cool. I, I love, I love giving out stuff. Kind of 
man, he has a hard job. It's freaking hot right now. 82 degrees. But yes, um, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I am a little bit excited about that subwoofer. I just, uh, I know the customer service was shit. So I'm probably not gonna buy another Polk product. Hmm, I don't know. That's a lot to carry. It's doable. In retrospect, look at the size of the box compared to the size of the elevator door. It'll kind of show you how big this box actually is. All right guys, so the unboxing of the Polk subwoofer. This thing is huge. Pretty sure it's just the box. Let's go at it here. Ooh. Guys, I turned on the AC just because, you know what, it's, it's too hot. I usually don't turn on the AC when I film, for the most part, but, man, so if you hear the AC noise and the fan noise, I'm sorry guys, it's just, it's way too hot. Let's open her up, as soon as you open her up, you get this little register, your new Poke Audio product online for a chance to win $500 of Poke product. You know what, this is a, a running theme with them, they, they, uh, they offer you money for buying more stuff. I didn't think it would be this big. Uh oh. Scotty, we got a problem. Connected. Let me go ahead and switch over the monitor so I can see myself in frame. Oh, I'm so happy. It sounds freaking fantastic. Now, this thing actually is, is a little big though. Like, it's, it's huge. So, absolutely no static, what I was expecting. Yeah, it says that. So I'm gonna go test this out now, just so I can fine tune the subwoofer to the way I want it to be. Uh, all I'm playing with is the gain and the frequency, and hopefully I'll get it to match perfectly with the studio monitors. That is the end result, but that's gonna take a little bit of time. So instead of putting that all on video, yes, this thing sounds freaking amazing. All right guys, so I found the perfect, perfect frequency, which is about 80 hertz at about 38% gain and basically what happens is the, it, it's fine, it's gonna be my workout music if I covered the sub up, no one will know it's there 
uh, it's it's not gonna stand out and that's not what I got the sub for because these are five inch studio monitors it lacks the lower frequency and it lacks the lower push like you might get the bump and maybe like bump but it's supposed to be bump but like it lacks that push so I, that's why I got the sub for I went totally overkill on the sub the thing is freaking huge and I did crank it up just for giggles and yes it does shake the whole freaking place not my style uh, yes I do like that sometimes but I want it as accurate as possible guys so if you're in if you're getting the sub to, for your home theater crank that up put it on 120 Hertz and just black out to like 80% gain uh, and feel your your stomach rumble but if you're adding a sub to your studio monitors for the purpose of the most neutral sound guys the biggest mistake that people make when they add a sub is that they, they crank up the sub too much where it's no longer a neutral sound it's not flat anymore you really extended the bass too high and it may sound better for some musics like rap and, and hip-hop um, but that's just not not the, the, the intent for studio monitors if you're gonna do that don't get studio monitors because you're not going for a neutral sound right just go for a nice hi-fi system that will sound perfect for your needs the low end never overpowers everything anything I know the microphone's pointed this way instead of this way but you get the gist of it I didn't overpower my signal that is how the music was intended to sound guys I'm, I'm just I'm gonna listen to this the whole day because I'm freaking loving it it sounds so good to my ears now sound is subjective it might sound like crap to yours because you have a nice hi-fi system that really brings up the treble in the bass um the little smiley face they call it right this is like the hi-fi smiley face um you guys might prefer that for me i'm a flat signal guy. ever since i got the audio ath m50s I'm, I'm a flat signal kind of guy so i'm really enjoying this so bottom line i really i honestly really hate that i like these subs if it was a store i would have returned it and just bought the lower price i mean that's what it was and polk you're a freaking retailer or at least sell, selling to the commercial so i would figure that would be okay and then they got back to me again saying um i'm sorry you feel that way that's all they said i'm sorry you feel that way and it's in a frown face that's exactly what they sent to me. I'm sorry you feel that way with a, a frown face. Can you get any more unprofessional, Polk? Um, and so as a company, Polk, my experience with customer service was absolute crap. Customer service is half the part of it. But since I bought these and if I return them, I have to pay a $15 restocking fee, even if I didn't even open it, right? Um, so I'm gonna keep them. They sound decent, they sound good. Do they sound better than the Kilps? Probably not. Will they sound better than the Yamahas? Probably not. From my experience, my Yamaha uh, sounds way better than the Polk right now. So but right now, I'm more worried about quality over power, and that's why I was dealing with the lower power sub. And judging from all the online performance, if I do crank this up, then it does push a crap ton of air. But here's the thing. Uh, just know that the surrounding of these subs is foam, so they will deteriorate deteriorate um, they're not gonna last as long if money is a real tight budget and you don't give two cents about customer service go ahead get it you're not gonna go wrong with it it sounds pretty good um, it, it looks pretty good it's really big it's really big that's why I want the Yamaha the small one but for the most part it, it, it does it does what it's supposed to do and that's what it is a sub it's, it's not a fancy sub it doesn't have that many connectors it doesn't have an in and out if you're missing a little bit of low end on your studio monitors, I, I say that the Polk is just fine if you're okay with crap customer service. But if I had to recommend a product, I'd say go with Yamaha, JBL, or Kilps. It could just be an isolated incident, but I had to mention it. Alright guys, I'm going to get my workout in right now. I'm just going to do some lifting. I'm going to listen to some music, which this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to, to work out to music. Before it gets a little bit darker, I don't really want to stay up to it because I got to clean up, guys. I have boxes everywhere that I've been reorganizing. So, like. I...